welcome to fish farming tv i want to do some estimate for you because this video is on request and some people have sent me several messages how do i tray how do i culture 1000 uh, juvenile to table size this is the video that i'm bringing to you now i want to show you or tell you exactly what it will cost for you to culture 1000 pieces of catfish juvenile to table size Please, if you, this is your first time of visiting this channel, please subscribe to our channel. And if you are a previous subscriber and you have question, you have any suggestion, you can drop it on the comment section below. <clears throat> then we can start now. We have uh, the cost of a uh, catfish juvenile. Uh, in some areas, this uh, this uh, estimate I'm giving to you is from where I am located. So what you will do, you compare it with what you have around you. To know exactly what it will cost just compare it with what i'm giving you so in this area we are selling um catfish juvenile here for 35 naira so if you want to stock because at the end of this uh this uh <coughs> culturing of catfish you'll be expecting 1000 plus catfish so you don't have to stock exactly 1000 you'll be buying 1200 juvenile so after buying 200 uh 1200 juvenile at the end of harvesting at least you'll be getting around 1000 something so i want you to follow me to the end of this video i'll be showing you everything but the amount of feed the quantity of feed the feed that this fish will consume to a maturity and how long they will take for them to get to a majority period and on this video and um, i will also tell you how many weeks the fish will take around five months and few days the fee that i'm going to estimate for you that is what it will take so for a start if you want to do the experiment you will buy 1200 juvenile fish at the rate of 35 naira and the weight is so normally weight of one one uh, juvenile is around uh, 10 grams so the total in naira for 1200 juvenile will give you around uh, 42,000 naira now for the feeding part of this fish you have a yeah, I have a list of the feed that you are going to be buying for this. Let me tell you the reason why some people at the end of the day, they will tell you that they don't, they don't make any profit in catfish. Take what you can, buy what you can culture. You don't go ahead and buy a lot of fish and put it in your pond. You'll be feeding them uh, anyhow. At the, at the end of the day, they will not grow and you will have lost. If for instance now after buying maybe you want to you have like some amount of money that is not too much that can train or that can culture 1000 fish you will go and buy and stock like 3000 fish at the end of the day after feeding them that feed that you budgeted that will, that will be able to carry 1000 you went and feed it on 3000 at the end of the day you find out that the fish will not do well because they are starving they will not do well and you will have lost after selling all of them you find out that you will have lost it's better for you to culture that 1000 at the end of the day you will sell it and see your, your your capital and also get your profit there is no need of overstocking if you don't have uh, the finance to carry the project so the cost of feeding uh, this uh, 1000 uh, juvenile catfish the first one is you buy four bags of 12 uh, 2 mm feed it has a 45 percent crude protein cp at one uh, at 12,000 naira this is the current price of today as i'm making this video so if you multiply it by the four bags, you have 48,000 naira. And the second one here is uh, you buy 12 bags of uh, 3 uh, mm feed. It's the same 45% good protein at 11,150, which will give you around 133,800. And the third one here is you buy 35 bags of 4 mm feed, which is 20, 42% good protein at 10,750 which is give you around 376,250. And the next one here is the 4 mm. Sorry, the 6 mm, the 6 mm feed. That one you will buy it uh, 24. You buy 24 bags of 6 mm feed. This will take them to the final stage before you can dispose them. This quarter period will last for 21 weeks. Around around them um, around 5 months and this fish will mature. So, uh, how you feed them is this. After bringing the 1,000 fish, 1,200 fish, feed them normally, morning and night, morning and night. Make sure that you're not overfeeding them, but make sure that they are okay. 
when you are feeding them morning and night, morning and night. As soon as the first stage is finished, the 2mm is finished, switch to the 3mm. As soon as that one is finished, switch to the 4mm feed. As soon as that one is finished, also switch to the 6mm feed. Gradually, before you know it, the 5 months have elapsed and you will see that you will have, you will be happy with what you have produced. Just follow me to the end of this video. You will still find out more on this uh, topic. So the total number of feed <coughs> that you buy uh, on this project is around 75 bags, 75 bags of feed. And each bag of that feed is, is 15 kg each. If you are familiar with fish feed, a bag of feed is 15 kg. So when you multiply this bag, let me assume they have consumed the 75 bags, when you multiply it by 15 kg, you find out that their feed have taken around 1,035 kg. They have taken 1,035 uh, kg of feed at the end of this project. So the total amount of the cost of feed is 806,450. As you all know, the price of feed in I is very, very high. So this is what we came up with. Uh, this is a good feed. I don't, I'm not mentioning any name, but this is a good feed. It's a local fish feed. It's not foreign because if I'm using foreign feed to, to do this estimate, the price will be more higher. So there is no point you wasting money on uh, uh, foreign feed feed. Because they can also the look there are there are good local fish feed that can give you what you want. Because this foreign feed fish, they will add all the logistic on the feed and they will set you you will buy. After feeding, you will not have any profit. So if you are buying, you may start with foreign feed fish and substitute it with a local feed. They have good local feed in the market that can give you what you want. They are mean. So look for them. So the next thing the next thing is there is the operating cost. For this uh, 21 weeks, around 5 months of the operation cost. So the operating cost here is, is this, the power of pumping water. In this in area where you, are, you don't have electricity, maybe you are using gen, you find out you will be pumping water regularly, and electricity bill and all that, you just keep like 100,000 for this project. Miscellaneous expenses, anything can happen, you can keep 5,000 for it. And logistic cost, just keep 15,000. And the medication, you will keep 10,000 for this. So the salary, for these five months, let me assume you are you employed one person there for this one thousand fish. This is an illustration purpose. You're paying him ten ten thousand for every month. Maybe the person that is looking uh, taking care of the thing, ten ten thousand is around fifty thousand naira. But some people will collect more than this. But this is the minimal uh, expenses that uh, you can do on this uh, on this catfish uh, salary uh, area. So the total cost of the total cost of production here is this. So the total cost of production, uh, you add it with cost of feed and operating cost. When you add all these costs together, you have the first one there is a uh, cost of feed, fish, uh, which is that fingerling that you bought. Sorry, the juvenile that you bought. The cost is around forty-two thousand. Then, cost of feed is uh, uh, eight hundred and six thousand four fifty. Then the operating cost is one hundred eighty thousand. So the total uh, production cost. Uh, total running cost TRC is around uh, 1,028,450. So, you know, uh, when, you are, when you are culturing feed, when you are culturing uh, catfish, there are more, you know that one, two, three, and all that will be dying from the fish. When you have mortality, like few mortality, you know that not, nothing is wrong with the fish, normally some will die. So when you know that you have problem in your farm, it's when you record a very massive number of dead catfish, 100, 200, 300, you know that there is problem. But when your fish is dying one, two, or not in a regular basis, just once in a while, you will see some will drop. So it's normal. So 14, so 14 percent mortality for mortality for 1,200 pieces is around 180 pieces. So after training 1,200 fishes, at least let us let's specify that 168 will die. So total fish uh, minus the mortality pieces, which is 1,200 fishes that you stocked before, minus 1,600 uh, uh, minus 168 pieces mortality, you'll be having at the end of the harvest. You may be having around 1,032 pieces of uh, catfish that you will sell. So the estimated uh, yield that we we'll have here is the expected biomass. Where our target here is that we want to get one kg fish. She understand. So the quantity of fish left in our pond before that the one we calculated now is around uh, 1,032 pieces of fish. So we are expecting one kg of fish. When you multiply it with the number of fish that you have there, you find out that we are having around 1,000. 
32 kg weight of fish. So when you multiply it, you will find that the weight now will be around 1032 kg, around 1 point something ton of a, of a catfish that you have. So during selling now, a selling price of uh, 1000 depending on what they are selling in your area some people are selling more than this but as the thing as the as things are now in this country things are very expensive but i'm using this price now as the lowest price so we we'll buy one five so we we'll buy one six but i'm using 1400 for this estimate so at the selling price of 1400 per kg or per kilo of this fish you multiply it by the total weight of catfish which is the total weight of your catfish after scaling all of them is giving you 1000 32 kg so when you multiply 1400 times 1032 kg understand it will give you a total sale of 1 million four hundred and forty four thousand eight hundred this is what you will get after selling this fish at the price of at the price of 1400 for this service this is what you will get so please if you are getting value for this video please give it a like i'll be happy for you to give it a like and if you have a comment you can put it on the comment section below and if this is your first time of visiting this channel and you're getting value for this video uh, for this video please subscribe to our channel like our video and god will bless you <coughs> so the profit cost the total the total cost of a uh, profit here is this it says the, the amount of the sale that you've made and the total minus the total production cost <coughs> you minus the production cost from this sale that you made so I we made a we made a sale of one million four hundred forty four thousand eight hundred. We are going to minus the production cost. The production cost includes the all the operating cost, the the, amount, the feed, the feed intake that you bought, the fish that you bought, and the running cost, which is around one point twenty eight uh, four fifty. You will minus it with this uh, sales that you made. You find out that your profit is your profit is your profit is. 416,350. So this is your profit, 416,350. So for instance, if you have a, if you have, if you have a 1,000 fish that you want to culture, use this format, use this format, buy this amount of fish for it. You will get this profit at the end of the at the end of the experiment but if you think that uh, you can buy 3,000 fish and give them this amount of fish believe me you will not make the profit you will be, you'll be even be looking for your capital on this because at the end of the day the 3,000 fish will eat this feed after finishing this feed you they will not have a good weight for you to scale for you to get up to let me assume um for you to get this amount of uh, kg that is required to get this profit so it's better for you to train 1,000. At the end of the day, you will make profit than to train 3,000 without any profit. This estimate is applied to 1,000 uh, juvenile. In case if you want to do more than 1,000, multiply this estimate by the number of how many you want to culture. If you want to do like 500 pieces of juvenile, divide this estimate by two. It will still give you the same, same results. Let me assume you want to do like 2,000 pieces. Multiply this estimate by 2. So, uh, what I want to tell you now is this. Please make sure that you are buying good quality catfish. Good seed. They call it good seed. If you don't have good seed, this experiment will not work. At the end of the day, you find out that you, you, you are having lost in the catfish business. So, uh, make sure you stock good, uh, good stock. Go, for trust, go to trusted farm and buy fingerlings and if you cannot buy you can hash on your own if you go to my channel i have some valuable information on how to hash catfish and other part of catfish business go to my channel you go through my channel homepage. you will see everything some people have been making progress on what i'm posting there you can go through the comment you see many people that have tried it and it's working for them because the importance of make, hashing this catfish is that at the end of this hashing when when they are when they get to fingerling stage you see that some of them are growing more faster than others take from those ones that are growing faster those first shooters stock them when you stock them you find out that you find out that they are they are the ones that will be doing well than others 
thank you for watching this video and god bless you if you have any comment please drop it on the comment section below